Say hello to the Xbox Go, the AI action gimbal. This is no ordinary gimbal though, this is an AI application controlled cameraman that has auto tracking, auto focus, it even works in low light. It has multiple use cases but it does shine best recording sports events and things like that. This was sent out for review by Xbox but that does not affect my thoughts or opinions and I will leave links in the description. The links are Amazon affiliate links but I'm not otherwise sponsored or linked to Xbox in any Anyway. Okay, let's get straight into the video then. The first thing I notice is it comes in a well presented box and it's one of the magnetic book type boxes which I prefer. Included in the box is a velvet carry case, a generic USB-C lead, a wrist strap and a small tripod. It's just a small free leg tripod but it does get the job done and it is quite sturdy for a small tripod. And then finally we get the gimbal itself this is a nice and lightweight device we've got a usb-c port on the side for charging we also have the battery indicator which is backlit with blue leds so it's visible in daylight and in the dark on the bottom we have the one quarter inch industry standard mounting thread this allows you to fix it to the tripod or your own independent tripod we have a few controls and a 360 degree analog just like your playstation or xbox controller this allows you to move the gimbal around with the analog stick we've also got a little switch on the side we'll talk about all of the functions and features shortly on the back of the gimbal we've got the xbox go logo and it folds away nicely it feels really lightweight and a good quality in the hand i've got no complaints at all so far it seems like a really good gimbal but the proof is always in the pudding so let's go ahead and install the application you can do this by scanning the qr code that's in the quick start guide or you can search for the xbox go application in the google and apple stores there are some typical permissions and some small print to read through the application's user friendly it tells you how to use the application efficiently also this is very thoughtful they included a digital version of the user manual because if you're out and about and don't have the box and user manual in your possession you can still access all of the user information i thought this was very thoughtful it appears that we do need to create an account there is no guest feature unfortunately i don't mind creating an account anyway you get access to a few more settings like your profile and stuff like that you can upload your own avatar add your email and phone number or you can just leave it blank and if you're going to become a user of the Xbox Go application anyway, it would make sense to have an account. That way you could just switch devices and things quite easily. It's completely up to you. Like I said, it's nice and easy to use and there is help all the way through if you need it. Quickly, before we move on to testing, I just want to describe how the clamp works. So the clamp has quite a wide mouth, it should be compatible with most smartphones and it's got a strong grip so I would be more than comfortable leaving any of my phones in here. But a few things to note, on each side of the clamp there's little grooves. This is really handy because it stops the clamp pressing your buttons accidentally on the phone. Also it's got a little red directional arrow, this is telling you which side the camera should be placed. And you also want to get your device as centered as possible. You want it bang on in the middle. This helps with the balance later. Plenty of movement in the gimbal. You could easily cover the sports field. The movement axis is 360 degrees rotational and 90 degrees horizontal vertical tilt. We do have a manual feature here as well. So we can use the analog to control this ourselves. But to be honest, the app seems to do a really good job of doing all the tracking and stuff for you. There's also a handy little trigger on the back which allows you to screenshot and take video from the gimbal itself let's go straight to testing then guys right now we're recording with the xbox go i'm not 100 percent sure if we've got audio or not but will it follow that horse pretty much and it's making the shot stable. It's not 100% stable, but that's a little bit because of me. That's um, it's quite stable. As soon as I start walking the other way, it wanted to go back to the horse then. But you can use your thumb analog and move it anyway. If we come off this little tripod and onto the big one, we might be able to stabilize that a little. So I want to see if the commands work. 
The audio quality is poor at this point, so I will need to explain over some of the footage. As you can see, the gimbal is in focus mode. It's not tracking me at the moment. This requires manual input, but there is a hand gesture that you can do if you stand or sit in front of the camera and hold your hand out flat. It will start to track you. It also flashes the camera just to let you know that it has received the input. And as you can see, it's tracking me quite well left and right. It tracks both ways without any issue and the footage seems fairly sturdy. The hand gestures work really well, but there is a slight little issue here. When you ask it to stop tracking you, it does also end the recording. That could be an issue for some people. It's not an issue for me. We've got a guest as well. The horse wants to say hello. Hello, buddy. Also, while we're feeding the horse, you can see the gimbal tracks me and it zooms in quite well. So if it thinks there's something to focus on, it will do so. I thought that was quite clever from the application. I also tested this out briefly at night time on the fiver side pitch and surprisingly it works really well even in the dark. There is a screen display that you can activate. You can also deactivate this in the application. I'll put it on screen now just so you guys can get an idea of what I'm talking about. But it allows you to reverse the camera. It allows you to activate live streams if you are connected. It also allows you to mute or activate the recordings, hide the icons, and you can also go home. You can keep scoreboards even, and you can set your resolution. Unfortunately, the resolution is only 720p and 1080p, but it's still pretty good high quality footage in general. If it disconnects for any reason, you'll get a flash on screen, a notification and an alert sound. This could get you out of a real sticky spot, especially if you're recording an important event or an important game. All of your video files are easy to access, to share or to download. You do need to do this manually every time. I do wish it saved the files automatically to our photo gallery or our video gallery, but it's not too much of a chore. I personally don't mind this. If I quickly show you the modes and their intended uses, we can move on to my final thoughts. So there's a little mini keypad here underneath the analog. If you long press the right button, this turns on the power and turns off the power. If you quick press this while the device is switched on, this rotates between landscape and portrait mode. Then if we hold the left button down for a second to enter the modes, we can single press to select between them. There are four in total, we'll start with the AF mode, meaning all follow. This only locks the roll axis, so your pan and tilt will still move with the gimbal handle. Next we've got the HF mode, which is the half follow. This meaning the tilt and the roll axis are locked, but your pan will still work with the gimbal handle. LF means lock fully, this means that the camera is locked to the gimbal movements on all axis. And then finally we have the FPV, meaning first person view. All of the camera movement is locked to the gimbal's handle movement. This is really nice and fluid, and it's my favorite. This is the one I like to use the most. I have to say, I've really enjoyed testing this. There's a few things I like about this. I really like the battery indicator, this is useful. I like the fact that it can be mounted on independent tripods. I think the build quality is pretty good overall and I think it's really good in general. I've not got any complaints. The application's pretty good, user friendly, easy to navigate and reliable. If there was a few things that I could change, I haven't found a way to remove the watermark or the timestamp from the videos. So when you record and download any footage, it is going to have the Xbox Go watermark. I haven't figured out what the little switch does on the side. Maybe this is linked to the remote control and I don't have that version. So unfortunately, I can't test that feature. I like the fact you can get extras. You can buy a little remote, which is £39. This isn't included with this model here. The current one that I'm testing today is the Xbox spot go sport gimbal without the remote priced at 179 pounds in the uk with a 10 percent discount it also has 258 ratings with four stars so it's pretty good score overall 
You could save yourself £10 on the remote if you wanted to buy the complete kit and buy the one that includes the remote. This is priced at £199 in the UK. I'll leave links in the description for your convenience. These links will be Amazon affiliate links and you are directly supporting the channel by using them. We can highly recommend this Xbox Go gimbal for content creators, recording sports events or for general use, vlogging and stuff like that. It would still be perfectly fine for that purpose as well. I'm definitely going to use it in some of my future videos and I'll probably use it for some football games and things like that as well. And guys, can I just say a massive thank you to everybody for helping us reach 2,000 subscribers. But not only that, we also hit 1 million channel views. That's amazing to me, guys. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you found any part of this video helpful at all, consider leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel with your notifications on. That way you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you guys. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews and I'll see you in my next video.